Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I want to cover something that I've had a lot of questions about recently, and that is about how to take payments for your extensions. So as you know before, um, Chrome removed the option to actually have paid extensions within the web store, so they won't handle the payments for you. So now you have to you know, control all of this yourself. Now previously on this channel, I've made videos around how you can use Stripe and you know, create this integration yourself. And in this video, I wanna show you a new service I found recently called Extension Pay. Now what they do is they sort of do all the Stripe integration for you, and they've created a really handy um, JavaScript library that you can include into your extension, and that sort of handles all of this uh, for you. So I'm gonna show you how to set up and use an account today. Um, also, I'll link below a handy blog post they've written just showing you know, how much money some extensions have been able to create um, recently as well. So there's a link to that in the description, but otherwise um, I'll start now and just share my screen and show how you can set up your account with extension pay and actually start to integrate and use this within your extension. The first thing you need to do is go to extensionpay.com and create an account, which is what I've done just here. So you can see it takes you to this page. Then all you need to do after that is register an extension like this, there we go. Um, and you can choose down here if it's to be a one-time payment recurring monthly or recurring yearly. Um, I'm just gonna choose a one-time payment of $10 just here. And then I'm just gonna click register my extension. Now what this will do, so you can see I have my extension down here. And once you download the uh, extension pay uh, .javascript file, um, which looks like this, so this is where it takes you to, which has all of their documentation, which is really useful. It goes into a lot of detail. And here is the uh, the blog post I mentioned where they talk about you know different amounts of money that some extensions are making. Again, I'll link that in the description. Um, but anyway, so once we have this, you can see uh, this sample extension, and that's what I'm gonna be using to show how you can put this together. So I'm just gonna copy this here and update the line in uh, the sample extension with my uh, test extension just here. So let's go over to Atom. We're gonna go to the background page and change this line just here and save that. And also the pop-up page and save this just here. So that links up that sample extension to my actual extension uh, within Extension Pay. So that's everything just here. Next, we need to connect a Stripe account. So to do that, just click onto this link just here. It will then take us to Stripe and ask us to verify um, our account just here. So I'm gonna do that and I'll come back once that's complete. It will then take you back to Extension Pay and show that you've um, connected your Stripe account now, one thing um, that's happening, if this is the first time that you've made an account with Stripe, they need to verify all of the information that you've provided, which may take a, which may take a little bit of time. Um, but once this is done, um, you'll be all ready to start accepting payments. Now, sometimes they might contact you for additional information, such as um, like an ID card or a passport information, um, which they'll reach out to you for. But otherwise, you should be all ready to go. Okay, so just whilst I'm waiting for Stripe to confirm my account, I'll just talk through some of the benefits of using extension pay. Now, as you may have noticed in the video I've made on integrating with Stripe before, we had to use a Lambda function as a way to have a backend um, for all of our calls. So obviously the way it works with Stripe, you can have the front end part where users can enter their card information and that then converts it into a token, which we send um, to our backend, which then completes the payment. Now what extension pay does is they can control all of that for you. So that's why we have to connect our Stripe account just here. And then what happens there is they take that token and do all of the backend stuff for us. Now, the only downside really is they take a slight cut um, of the each payment you take as well, but there's no upfront cost for using extension pay. At the moment, they support manifest version two. And um, I've checked that manifest version three support is coming soon, but they don't have an actual date for this just yet. Um, but otherwise, I think if you're you know, just creating an extension, you want a quick and easy way to accept payments, this is probably the best route to go down at the moment. But as I say, because Manifest version 3 support isn't there, if you are using Manifest version 3, you might have to wait a little bit um, until that support is there. So depending on the extension you're using, it might not be the best option, but I just wanted to do a video on this anyway to show how simple you know, taking payments can be with extension pay. Okay, so now we're back onto this page, we can actually start to test out our integration with our extension. Now, as you can see here, it says you can use test payments by using your developer email address on the payment page. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add the sample extension 
that we just changed the ID for into our um, developer section on Chrome. So we're just going to select that folder and just press select. So you should see now we have our sample extension added just here. It's got our background page and everything else that should be exactly the same as when you downloaded it. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. But otherwise, we've just changed that one ID. So if we go to a new tab now and go across to this extension, we'll just pin it over here and open it. You can see that the user hasn't paid. But if we click on pay now, and you can see here we're in developer mode. So it says enter your um, extension pay developer email to use test mode rather than you know actually having to pay to test. Um, and it also shows here that our Stripe account is still pending complete verification. So we've done our email verification, but they still go over and check you know, your bank details, the information that you've provided, just part of their um, security policy. So that may take, like I say, up to a day, a couple of days. Um, but otherwise, we're ready to actually test this now in test mode. If I enter my email address I had with extension pay, this will make sure that I'm using test mode and I can actually then complete a payment here. So for me, it was this account here. Be sure to leave this card um, part empty just for this test um, purchase. Um, because like I say, when we're waiting for the Stripe verification to complete, we can't use this part just here. But as long as it's your um, extension pay email address, you can just leave this empty and it will then ask you for your password that you used for extension pay. So again, I'll have mine there and then click pay. And what you'll see is it will show you that this um, payment was successful. A receipt has been sent to my email address and it says that paid features are now enabled. So I can go ahead now and close this window and if I now click on the extension over here, it's updated to show this, this user has paid. So if I was to close it and open it again, it knows if this user has paid or not. So it's a really useful feature and it remembers that. So what can happen as well, say I remove this extension um, completely. So if I go back to my extensions menu, remove this sample extension and then load it again, I'll go over here and pin it. So let's just open a new tab, open that extension so if we click on pay now this time, but instead of making a payment, we're gonna say we've already paid, let's log in. Over here, we'll get a link to our emails to see if we can confirm that you know, we actually own this email address. So I'll go ahead and open that link and come back in a second. So here is the email I got that says to log in to the uh, test extension. So I'll just log into it here. So you can see here that I've successfully logged in. So if we go back to our extension now, you can see it's updated and the user has paid. So this is really handy that it does all this on the back end for us. So we don't have to worry too much about all of these different um, integrations here. Now there's extra options um, as you can see from the uh, documentation here about this. So you can have a um, different options for the user. So if you go over to here, you see that they can have a payment page. So they can check their, their plan details. So if we were to go over here and inspect this page and type this in. You can see it will open this up. Now, at the moment, because we're only in test mode, we can't see all of the different options, but for a user that's actually got a um, ongoing subscription account, it will look something like this. So these are all parts that you can actually tweak and change within your settings on extension pay. So if I was to go over to my extension pay account here and change the price to $5, for example, it looks like um, I can't change it between a one-time fee and a subscription once I've created it. If I was to create a new extension over here and actually choose a recurring um, monthly option here, then this is what that settings page would look like. Obviously, this was the command I used here, open payment page. Um, so that can be where they can update their subscription settings or cancel. But because of the way that we know that we can check these details here, if they're paid or not, it makes it a lot easier to actually run these checks in your extension. So if we actually take a look at the code now, you can see over here, so this is our, our pop-up. So the first thing it's doing is we're connecting to extension pay. And that's this uh, JavaScript file over here. Then we're adding an event listener to the button on the page. That's that you know payment button. And then what we do is we just say, if the user has paid, so we just get user. So we use extension pay, get user, wait for that command to complete. And then we're seeing if the user is uh, active, we say that user has paid. Now this could obviously be where you have more of the logic for your extension hidden between these uh, checks. And then if they haven't um, had an account, you can see here that we're just showing that error message. 
Now this is the uh, default um, sample extension, which there's a link in the description. Um, and on the, the background page here, we just do exactly the same. So we're seeing if the user has got an account already, we're just logging this to the console. So if we were to look at the, uh, the background page here and go to console, you can see that it's logged the information here. So it tells us, actually, if we refresh that extension just here, open this up, you can see that's when it was installed and we have all the information just here. Um, which is quite useful if you were wanting to you know, have different um, calls run on your background page. Now, the only problem I would say right now is just manifest version three support, but that is something that is coming soon. But if you have any questions on integrating this into your extension, feel free to leave a comment on this video. And I'm also gonna reach out to the founder of extension pay, just so he can be aware if there's any comments on this video, um, and he might be able to reply to those directly there as well. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you found this video useful and I'll be sure to update in the comments as well how long it actually took Stripe to confirm my account so I can actually do more actual real test payments. But hopefully this video gives you a quick overview of extension pay and how you can actually start to use it in your extensions if you're using manifest version two and in the future, manifest version three. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.